this one definitely you can see it's seeing it a little bit here and there just a straight line there yeah it's that little straight yeah line. Oh, right yeah there. right yeah. there oh oh very good i'm at the consumer electronics show in las vegas with the matic robot vacuum and Matic is taking a very different approach to robot vacuums. And just so that you know, this video is not sponsored. And I mean, it is different unlike anything I've ever seen before. Now it's designed and built in California by two ex Google engineers who also worked at Nest. And one of the problems I see with robot vacuums is really poor obstacle avoidance. Now most robots don't see things like cords, shoelaces, or even people. And it's really easy for a robot to get tangled up in a cord or shoelaces. And another big issue with the robot vacuums is that the software just doesn't work very well a lot of the time. Matic is solving these issues by creating a robot vacuum from the ground up. It doesn't even look like most robot vacuums. It's more like WALL-E than the rather generic robot disc that we're used to seeing. So behind this different approach they're taking is something called computer vision, and they use it to build out a 3D model of a home. So it's able to recognize static objects like tables and chairs and bookshelves and stuff. But as it's moving around, it's also creating a dynamic view of the room so it can actually see when something has changed. So if you're standing in a spot and it wants to clean, but then you move, it'll recognize that you've moved and then it'll go clean that space. So now it's gonna come halfway. It says, nope, there's someone here. I'm gonna flip. As I moved out, it might actually come and mop the area now that I've moved out of the way as well. Now, most robot vacuums build out a 2D floor plan, and they actually don't really understand where they are in space. They avoid bumping into things by using something called LiDAR, which is basically just a laser with a single pixel and they also use a bumper in front to bump into things and figure out those are more immovable objects. So instead of using a combination of sensors, Matic targets the system by using only cameras. They use five cameras total. They have four around, arranged around the outside of the robot and one pointing up. And this is what helps them build this 3D model. And because it's entirely computer based, it uses computer vision to understand the room that it's in and it's also able to identify objects and things that have moved, like I mentioned before, things that move frequently like pets, toys, shoes, and people. And computer vision technology is something that the founders have been working on since the early 2000s in Silicon Valley. Now, one of the first things that I thought about with all these cameras is privacy. If you remember recently, there was a beta tester for a robot vacuum and the robot came into the bathroom and the beta tester was on the toilet and it took a picture of this person. And then somehow it made it onto Facebook. Now that's something that shouldn't happen. And so what Matic has done is that they have made it so that the robot does not need to connect to the internet at all and it doesn't send any of the data up to the cloud. So in fact, all of the processing for this robot takes place on the robot and they're able to do that nowadays because processors have gotten so powerful. At the convention center where I met the co-founder, I found that the Matic did a really amazing job actually of identifying the furniture and the people and mapping out its environment in real time, even getting the colors down. And the app is extremely simple. You can see it is building a 3D model of the space in the convention center very, very quickly. Now, a lot of robot vacuums do have issues with hair getting tangled, and they've taken an approach that the brush roll should be pretty big, as you can see here, and instead of the wire getting tangled up, it'll just actually pop out if it does get tangled up in a wire. So the idea is to not unplug your cord, but to have the robot simply stop. So we actually went back and completely redesigned the whole cleaning system, and this is our um, tangle-free brush roll. Uh, this is completely redesigned to work on all kinds of surfaces. It has, um, it's a 3D printed still specifically, and it very easily comes out. Now it's got a very large microfiber brush roll, bigger than most other robots that I've seen. Now one of the coolest things about the Matic that I've ever seen is the way you can interact with it in a natural way. So here, Muhul talks to it, and points to a specific spot in a noisy environment and tells it to go mop there. Hey, Matic. 
clean this. So now it says planning. And sure enough, it's going to the location and says, I'm going to clean this. So you just talked to it and pointed it to the floor and said, clean this. Pointed the finger. It, and it went there. That's exactly right. And now it's going to begin cleaning that area that I just pointed to. And eventually, we wanted to do actual dirt detection. So not only you point to that location, but we'll go there and say, hey, let me see the dirt. Let me see if I can find it and just clean that. Now, of course, it can detect what kind of surface it's on. So when it finds that it is on carpet, it lifts up the roller. But what's different about this is that the roller lifts up about a full inch. And that is significantly more than some of the other robot vacuums are actually able to do. So this actually should be completely fine in shag carpet and not get it wet. So another thing that makes it different is there is no large dock with it like other robots, which have a clean water tank and a dirty water tank. And they say that the whole concept behind this is that if you leave the dirty water tank sitting there, it can smell bad after a few days. So instead, everything takes place on the robot itself. So you add clean water into a bin, and as it's vacuuming, you can vacuum up wet messes and dry messes, and everything goes into a single HEPA bag that they've redesigned, they say, and they put in diaper salt so that it actually doesn't smell. It should be able to go roughly a week with wet vacuuming and a little bit longer purely with dry vacuuming. And then you just take the bag out and you throw it away. The Matic Robot Vacuum is a little expensive at $17.95. However, they do have a pre-launch price through the end of February 2024. It is $14.95. The link's going to be down below. Now, unfortunately, there are no demo samples right now. I am looking forward to getting my hands on one when they make them available. I'd love to do a real world test in my house. There's another video on robot vacuums right over here. Click that. Thanks for nerding out with us today.